last episode, Jason, Nicole, and Parsifoot were on their way to rescue people from Dragos. Then, suddenly, there was an explosion aboard their Starfire. And now, Chapter 11, The Haunted Planet. so much for our transportation. Do you have any idea what planet this is? Oh, I have no idea, but it certainly isn't the warmest planet to be stranded on. Uh, I'd wager we're the first persons to set foot here in a millennium. I wouldn't wager too much on that, Professor. Don't move! Anyone! This is Kesh, planet of Queen Vanessa. You are all her prisoners. Prisoners? Look, we're strangers to your planet. We had to land here because our ship was about to explode. Exactly just as Queen Vanessa planned it. You mean she caused our detector to fail? Enough talk. You will all follow me. Uh, look, uh, friend. I am not your friend. My name is Bork. This is my friend. <laughs> Perhaps discretion is the better part of valor, Jason. For the moment. You're absolutely right, Professor. We should do exactly as our friend says. After all, we don't want to mess with that creature. And Nicole, you better hold my hand. The ground on this planet's very slippery. Jason, I'll be okay. But you can't be too certain. Your feet might slip out from under you. It, yeah, your feet. Then where would we be? Of course, I understand. Uh, but I think I could manage by myself. Okay, okay, but don't say I didn't warn you. Oh, Jason! Are you hurt? I don't know. Let me check you. Be quick about it. Queen Vanessa is waiting. All right, friend, all right, all right. We'll just take a minute. We've got to get the box away from Bork. It's linked to the collar around the beast's neck. That's how he controls him. Got it. All right, Professor, we'd better carry Nicole. Uh -huh. No, it will take too long. Come look for yourself, friend. You, move back now. Don't worry, Jason, I'll handle things. <laughs> Back. 
want to get that power off your neck. We'll see your queen now, but on our terms. stories about Jason of Star Command. I am impressed. So impressed you wanted to see if the stories were true by causing our ship's detectors to fail, huh? I knew you would find a way to save yourself. And your friends? I don't understand. I'm surprised. Professor Parsifoot, from what I'm told, there isn't anything the inventive genius of Star Command doesn't understand. Or can't figure out. Look, queen of whoever you are. I want to know what's going on. Ah, Captain Nicole Davidoff. I was wondering when Star Command's fiery computer expert would speak out. You're not quite what I expected. Well, I am sorry to disappoint you. Now, why don't you just tell us what is going on here? Now, Nicole, I'm sure that Vanessa, or Queen Vanessa, was just about to do that. Right, Your Highness? All right, Jason. I won't toy with you any longer. There are forces in the galaxy who will pay well for your services. You mean one force, don't you? Dragos. We have an arrangement. Well, I'm sorry, Your Highness. We too have an arrangement with Star Command. And that's for certain. For very certain. What a pity. As long as you feel that way, none of you will be allowed to leave this planet. Exciting chapter when our friends plan a daring escape. <laughs>